friends, it's almost time to go to bed, but I thought we'd share another story together. Would you like that? Okay, let's get started. I just got this brand new book called The Day You Begin. It's a story by Jacqueline Woodson and it's illustrated by Rafael Lopez. Well, in this story, the little girl is having her first day of school and she's feeling pretty nervous. Has it ever been your first time going somewhere? How did it make you feel? Maybe you were nervous because you thought you wouldn't fit in. Or maybe you were excited to meet some new people and get to know them. Well, let's see what happens to this little girl on her first day of school, okay? It's called The Day You Begin. The Day You Begin. For Saya, Nell, and Josie. To Santiago, Moon Whisperer. There will be times when you walk into a room and no one there is quite like you. Maybe it will be your skin, your clothes, or the curl of your hair. Look, all of these kids look so different from each other. They're all wearing different clothes and have different skin and different hair. Oops. Uh oh, I think these are stuck. That's okay. There will be times when no one understands the way words curl from your mouth the beautiful language of the country you left behind. My name is Rigoberto. We just moved here from Venezuela. And because they don't understand the classroom, we'll fill with laughter until the teacher quiets everyone. Have you ever gotten made fun of because you spoke a different language? I did. When I was little, I spoke Farsi. And people didn't always understand me. Rigoberto from Venezuela, your teacher says so soft and beautifully that your name and homeland sound like flowers blooming the first bright notes of a song. Ooh, look at those beautiful flowers. Those beautiful birds. Do you see them? Wow. There will be times when the words don't come. Your own voice. Once huge, now smaller. When the teacher asks, what did you do last summer? Tell the class your story. We went to France, Kayla says. These shells come from a beach in Maine. A boy named Jonathan holds out a jar filled with tiny shells so fragile, they look like they'll turn to dust in your own untraveled hands. Look at his shells, see? My whole family went to India. Spain, South Carolina, each souvenir a small triumph of a journey. Their travels going on and on. How do you think the little girl is feeling? She looks kind of sad to me. I wonder why. As you stand in front of that room, you can only remember how the heat waved as it lifted off the curb, and your days spent at home caring for your little sister, who made you laugh out loud and hug you hard at nap time. You can only remember the books you kept on reading long after she had fallen asleep. And in that room where no one else is quite like you, you'll look down at your own empty hands and wonder, what good is this when other students were flying and sailing and going somewhere? Oh no. It looks like she's pretty sad because she didn't get to go anywhere over the summer. Has that ever happened to you? There will be times when the lunch your mother packs for you is too strange or too unfamiliar for others to love as you do. 
That happened to me all the time when I would take rice for lunch and all the other kids would have sandwiches. When even your own friend Nadia will wrinkle her nose and say, what's in there anyway? And you'll wonder how she doesn't see the rice beneath the meat and the kimchi. You'll wonder why she doesn't remember that rice is the most popular food in the whole world. Look, she has her rice and kimchi and beef. And she has a sandwich. There will be times when the climbing bars are too high. The run is too fast and far. The game isn't one you can ever really play. I don't want him on our team. You can watch. Maybe you can have a turn later. Oh no, the friends aren't being so kind to this little boy. There will be times when the world feels like a place that you're standing all the way outside of. Seems pretty lonely. And all that stands beside you is your own brave self. Steady as steel and ready, even though you don't know yet what you're ready for. Wow, they're looking at their reflection. Look, using their imagination. There will be times when you walk into a room and no one there is quite like you until the day you begin to share your stories. My name is Angelina and I spent my whole summer with my little sister. You tell the class, your voice stronger than it was a minute ago reading books and telling stories. And even though we were right on our block, it was like we got to go everywhere. Wow, look at them traveling all over the world with their imagination. They were reading stories. Your name is like my sister's, Rigoberto says. Her name is Angelina too. Oh wow, they found something in common. And all at once, in the room where no one else is quite like you, the world opens itself up a little wider to make some space for you. This is the day you begin to find the places inside, your laughter and your lunches, your books, your travel and your stories, where every new friend has something a little like you and something else so fabulously not quite like you at all. Look. They made friends. Wow. The end. Oh my goodness. Well, at first, she was feeling pretty nervous because she didn't know if she was having the same experiences or different experiences from the other kids in her class. But once she started sharing her stories, she learned she actually had some things in common with her friends. You can always share about yourself and find the things that are alike and different from other people. It's okay to be like someone, but it's also really okay to be totally different. That's what makes you unique. And being unique is your superpower. I really enjoyed reading with you tonight. I hope you have a wonderful night and I can't wait to read with you again.